Alright guys, we're back again with another video, so I'm bored, so I'm just going to keep making videos, so um, yeah, so this video I'm going to show you how to search an array, so let's say you have a, an array with a bunch of crap inside of it, you know, crap and stuff, and you want to find something in that array, so I mean, right off the bat we can maybe think of some ideas to do, and uh, I'm sure there's multiple ways to do this, but there's a simple way. And the simple way in programming is usually the best way because it's all about complexity and that can boil down to be really annoying. And I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, so let's uh, name this project searching an array. Okay, and then we're going to, yeah, uh-huh, yep, okay, yep. And uh, so we can put some code here. So we're going to create our array first. Obviously, we need an array to search an array. So int, um, we're going to start with numbers. We're going to do numbers and strings. So int um, number list blah 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 equals um, what to call it, what to call it, what to call it, well not call it, I mean what to give it. Um, sorry I'm a little hyper. So we gave all these numbers, that should, that should be enough, and we'll sout this just to see what it looks like. Boom. Come on, buddy. Oh, what the heck? Why is it like that? Oh, you have to do, um, oh, right, 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 right. You have to use this method here to be able to print it out, I guess, which is stupid. Print out the whole thing, at least. We can obviously print out individual elements of the array. And um, so yeah, that's how we do that. So I'm gonna add this here. Um, our array. Okay, there we go. So just check out how that looks. Awesome, so that's our array. And um, yeah, so now we're gonna create a for loop. Uh, we're gonna, no, no, we're gonna create an integer here. So we can say int to find so this will be the number that we want to find. We'll find um, two, I mean, this one right here. Uh, three, two, four, three, two, four, two, three. Okay. And then we're gonna have a for loop here. This is what we need. And so we're gonna create an integer int i equals zero. And then for here, we're gonna do int is lower than. And here's the little important part. Um, we have a certain amount of elements in our array and if we want it to happen automatically, I mean, of course we can just do, let's count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We could say i is less than 9, but if we want to do it, you know, in a more efficient way, we could do dot length like that. So that should work. And so we need to add i++, plus plus, of course, so there we go. And then inside of here, as it checks each one, let's um, add a output here, checking and then we'll put out the index here. Um, or no, we'll put out the element is checking. So checking, um, what's it called? Number list, and then put i like that. So let's go ahead and run that, see if it works. And it should run through all of them if it works. Yeah, it does, cool. So it's gonna check all the elements, and then, uh, yeah. So we can do an if statement here now, and say if number list i is equal to to find, then do this. Say, in matched, and then we break from here, and then we'll break the. It'll just break the whole thing, of course. So let's go ahead and try that. Hopefully, it worked. Um. Hmm. Oh, it did work. Okay. Yeah. So we chose like the second to last one. So like, or no? Do we? No, no, third to last one, so, I mean, that's why it looks like it did the whole thing. But let's choose, like, this one, the second one. It should only print out, like, the two, that one, and that one, because it'll stop. So, if we change this number here, so, five, three, two, five, and play that, or run it. I keep saying play, because it's a play button, but yeah. So, yeah, we get it, so, awesome, it works. So, um, yeah, that's how we search something in uh, Java with an array. So it's, it's pretty simple, really, it is. But once you uh, 
learn it, you'll be like, oh, that's cool, it makes sense, and yeah, so play around with that if you want to. But we're going to move on to letters now, or strings, which is the, the exact same thing. So we need to change this data type here, so string, and uh, yeah, so string, Bobby, here's a list of creative names, Jerry, Randy, these are rednecks, uh, Billy Joe, and Billy Bob. Those are our five rednecks. And um, let's see. Uh, string, oops. Gotta change this, of course. So string to find, and then we'll change this to be, we'll find Randy, that's what we'll be looking for. And you don't actually need this here, of course, these outputs, but you know, it makes it more descriptive and I like descriptive, so that's you. Um, let's see. All right, so um, if you run this, it actually works right off the bat, but when you're comparing strings in Java, it's a more prefer uh, preferable I can't say the word, I guess, to use um, dot equals, I guess. So, yeah, so all I gotta do is do dot equals and then put do, uh, to find. And it should work the exact same way. And it did. So, yep, that's how we search stuff with the uh, arrays in Java. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll help you. And subscribe if you wanna see more. And peace.